Google, Amazon and Apple, we all know are great to help you store and enjoy your photos. But what about Dropbox? Is it any good as a photo organizing tool? That is a very good question. Hi, I'm Amanda Lidcott, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click that little bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Cloud storage, as far as I'm concerned, is an essential part of your photo backup strategy. Not only because it keeps your photos safe, but it also means that you can access your images across all of your devices. When it comes to photo apps, Dropbox would not be my first port of call, but it's worth a second look with some useful features when it comes to keeping your images sorted and also shared securely. So let's have a look. Auto upload your images. One feature I really like on Dropbox is that you can set the app to auto upload your photos directly into Dropbox without having to constantly remember. All you have to do is download the app to your phone and go to your account. Then go to camera uploads and switch it on. There are a couple of options. You can back up only new photos or all your photos. And you can say if you want to include videos or not. Also, you can control which albums are uploaded as well. So if you don't want your WhatsApp stuff going into your Dropbox account, you can totally stop that. This all means if you accidentally delete your photos from your phone, they will stay in Dropbox safe and sound in the camera uploads folder in your Dropbox account. The added bonus of Dropbox is that it will maintain the quality of your image files as the original quality, unlike the optimized loading of Google Photos. Automatically rename images. So Dropbox does not have an automatic AI like the ones that you would find on Apple, Google or Amazon Photos that will scan your photos so you can search for random things like beach or ball. However, what you can do is ask Dropbox to rename your photos automatically by creating a renaming rule. It could be as simple as the date created or if you are moving them around into special event folders, they can be renamed by the folder name. To add an automation to a folder to rename your files, you first need to log on to dropbox.com, select the folder and then go over to the three dots and select add automation. Then select set a rule that renames files. You can then ask the automation to do it for the current files as well if you want. So then you need to create the rule. So you can select all sorts of things. There's a lot of options here, but I like to do date captured. Then pick the date format that you want. So I like year, the month and day, keep it simple. And you can then see how it's gonna look at the top. Then press save and save again and your automation is set up and running. Automatically sort images. But just having your files renamed and dumped into one folder is not very helpful. So another great addition that you can ask Dropbox to do is you can automatically sort your images into folders, which is great for those who love a bit of foldering, like me. You can create an automation that will sort your photos into year or month when you move your files into that folder. To set up an automation to automatically file your files, you first need to again log on to dropbox.com and go to the folder you want to add the automation to. Select it and then go to the three dots and select add automation. For the automation, select choose a category to sort files by. Then you need to select your trigger, which is when anything is added to the selected folder. Then you can choose what happens. You can ask for it to be organized by month or year or a custom filter. So you can ask it to do it by file extension, keyword or size. So I like to do year because it's going to help me with my sorting. So I select that, press save and your automation is now active. I will say the slightly annoying thing about Dropbox automations is that you can only have one automation per folder. So you can't ask it to rename and then move everything into monthly folders in one go. But what is a bit of dragging and dropping between friends? Securely sharing. 
One thing that Dropbox is really good about is the sharing, as that is what essentially it is all about. Not only can you share a folder or a link with people so they can add photos easily to your Dropbox account, but I also really love is that you can password protect those folders to keep them super secure, which is not something you can do on any of the other standard photo apps. So if you are all about security, Dropbox is great. Digitize with Document Scanner. Now, this is not something that I would exactly recommend, but you can use Dropbox Document Scanner to digitize your printed photos. I mean, it's an option, but not one I would want you to do because the quality is not going to be great. But in a pinch, it's a good option as you can scan it with your phone, load it to Dropbox and share it with someone. But if you want to scan documents, go right ahead. I definitely will recommend that one. So Dropbox, although it is not as fancy as Apple, Google or Amazon Photos, it does have some great features for sorting your photos as well as keeping them backed up. But the big plus for me is that it will definitely work across all platforms. So should you change your mind and you no longer want an iPhone, you can simply download the app to your new phone and there your photos are still ready and waiting. Easy peasy. So there you have it, the lowdown on Dropbox as your photo organizing tool. What are your thoughts on Dropbox as an organizing tool for your photos? I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Are you confused about which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Then check out my nifty tool that you can access through the link below. So click through and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, then go ahead with a like and a share and don't forget to subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.